In case you were wondering how much Donald Trump has loved this week's whole, will he or will he or not be indicted today thing? Let me point you to the fact that Donald Trump's campaign confirmed to Fox news on Wednesday of this week that between his Saturday announcement that he was going to be indicted on Tuesday and Tuesday morning. So in the span of three days, his campaign confirmed to Fox news that they had raised a whopping $1.5 million from grassroots donors on the fears that Donald Trump was going to be put in handcuffs. Now, Donald Trump, of course, has been, uh, according to reports, practicing how he's going to mug for the camera. Should he be hauled away in handcuffs? But at the same time, he's also been on truth social, basically wetting his pants in fear over being indicted. So I don't know which is real. Is he actually laughing all this off? Is he actually terrified? I do think deep down he is terrified, but he's just trying to put on that brave face for his friends and family and Fox news. But I will tell you as terrified as he is of the prospect of being convicted and going to jail. He loves the fact that he's raising millions of dollars off this because again, they raised that one and a half million dollars in three days, 36 hours, which by the way, blows the lid off of their, you know, record fundraising ever since the 2020 election, uh, since that money stopped, I should say. And I, I have no reason to doubt that he's raised millions since then. So we're talking about a man who falsely claimed that he got leaked information, illegally leaked information that he was going to be indicted Tuesday. And he used it to bilk his followers because obviously he was not indicted Tuesday. So at what point does the FEC have to step in and do a, a real thorough investigation here? That's the problem. See, you can raise campaign money, basically claiming almost anything, almost. But at some point we are going to have to look at these campaign finance laws and ask ourselves as a country, are people legally allowed to just straight up lie to people in order to get them to empty their wallets? I mean, if Trump was a major corporation, if he was a major CEO of a company, a publicly traded company, and he announced that he was going to be indicted on Tuesday, do you know what would happen to that company's stock? It would plummet. And then Tuesday rolls around. They don't get indicted. You know what would happen on Wednesday? There would be a shareholders derivative lawsuit against the CEO for causing the stock to plummet based on a lie. But here in the case of campaign finance, Donald Trump tells a blatant lie and he raises a ton of money. So basically he causes people to lose their money by telling them a lie. And he did it for his own financial gain. But if it's for a campaign, right, it's totally legal. If you were to do it outside of a campaign, if you did it, as I said, as a CEO, you'd get sued. If you did it as just a regular private citizen, you'd be charged with fraud. But when you're running a campaign, it's just totally legal, right? You can raise all the money you want, telling people all the wild lies you want. And there's just nothing we can do about it because our Supreme Court is filled with idiotic right wing Republican activists who long ago told us that corporations are people and you're free to raise as much campaign money as you want. And then of course it got expanded and expanded. That gave us the super PACs. It gave us the dark money and it allows people like Donald Trump to continue their grift of emptying the bank accounts of gullible people. Hey everyone, this is Aspen. And did you know that for the low, low cost of $0 per day, you can subscribe to the fair and balanced YouTube channel. We also encourage you to like comment and share, but again, click that subscribe button and help Aspen. Oh, not be so grumpy.